Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number 22 from the February March 2023 paper 2 variant 2 from the IGCSE Cambridge Examining Board. And this question here is about this triangular prism. So the diagram shows a triangular prism ABCD. QP, A, B, C, D, Q, P, um, and they've given us the length of the prism is 7 centimeters, and the cross section is a triangle, P, A, B, it's a right angle triangle as we can see from here, P, A equals 4, A, B equals 5, and the angle P, A, B is 90 degrees. Calculate the angle between the line P, C and the base A, B, C, D. So imagine that there's a line okay stick you could say even that is going between p and c doesn't want to, it doesn't want to fit there for some reason okay so between p and c It doesn't seem to want to fit there exactly. All right, so now, the angle between this line and the base ABCD would be the angle made between this line, if it was, for example, a stick, and its shadow, if the light was shining directly from above, uh, perpendicular to this base, the shadow of this, like if it was a stick, would fall from the place where it touches the ground and it would go along until A. That's where the shadow of this line would fall. Okay, so if we make that in a slightly different color, so like it's a shadow, right? Or you could say if you were to let go of this stick and it was able to fall freely, you know, without any wind or anything, it, where it would fall vertically down, it would fall along this line, okay? So this is a three-dimensional diagram, you have to remember that. Okay, it's a three-dimensional diagram, so, you know, you got to uh, understand. So basically, this is a vertical, you know, kind of a rectangle, A, B, Q, D. And this is a horizontal floor. So the angle here is 90 degrees. If you, were look, if you were to look at this from this direction, you would see in front of you a right angle triangle looking something like that. Okay, that's what you'd see in front of you, a right angle triangle looking something like this. Okay, where this is, the right angle A, this is P, and this is C, and the angle between the line and the plane is this angle over here. I'll call it theta. So this is the angle we're looking for, the angle theta. That's what we're looking for. Now, what we know so far, we know that this is four centimeters. If I am able to find one of these other two lengths, I can find the angle because this is a right angle triangle. So if we look at AC, AC is this length over here. Okay, so if we look from above, directly above, we will see a rectangle, you know, the base as a rectangle, okay, A, B, C, D. So it would look something like this. It would be something like this. A, B, C, D it will be along that way. Okay, so that would be A. B and C and D, a rectangle, all the sides 90 degrees. And AC would be this line going across from here to there. It's looking from above. Okay, and we can see that this would be five centimeters, that would be seven centimeters. That would be five centimeters, that would be seven centimeters. That's a right angle because it's a rectangular base. Okay, and therefore, we can work out what AC is. AC is, by Pythagoras, the square root of 5 squared plus 7 squared. So that's 35, that's 25 plus 49. So we can just use a calculator, just 5 squared plus 7 squared. Okay, that's the square root of 74. Okay, the square root of 74. So this is the square root of 74, AC, which is... 
this the square root of 74. So if we take this diagram now, and drag it down here, okay, so now we have what we need to work out this angle. We can use opposite of adjacent, it's a right angle triangle, so we say the tangent of the angle we're looking for, theta, is equal to 4 over the square root of 74. So theta is equal to, so we just press inverse tan. So we have inverse tan of 4 over the square root of 74. And there we have the answer. Ah, what did I forget to do? I forget to check that my calculator was in the right mode. Very, very important. Okay, maybe I did that on purpose so that to so keep that in your minds. Okay, because somebody might change your calculator mode. It should say here D degrees. This is in radian mode, so it won't give you the answer in degrees. It'll give you the answer in another unit of, of measure of of angles, which is called radians, which we don't actually learn about in IGCSE. So you got to go to Shift and then Menu and then angle unit, in this calculator, angle unit, and then one for degrees. Now I'll press equals again, now it's gonna give me the actual answer, which is 24.937, 24.937. Now with angles, unless otherwise stated, we should give the angles always to one decimal place. So it's 24.9 degrees, and there's the answer to this question number 20. Two from the February-March 2023 exam. Other questions from this particular paper can be found in the playlist, that the link for which will appear in this area here. Other questions from 3D trigonometry questions can be found in the playlist that will appear over here. You'll have a general trigonometry playlist over here as well. And the video that will show up here it will tell you how to use my channel in order to find things that you might want to use. Thank you for watching and see you soon.